Hey what's up this is Riyadh from Oxcoding. In this video we'll finish up the project. So in our main activity we don't need this anymore. Now let's add variable main activity view model and movie page list repository with late in it. Now get view model function. Well this is the same as what we did in the single movie activity. And here we get the movie TV client in API service and initialize movie repository with API service. Then we get the view model. Now we initialize the popular movie page list adapter with context. This will show the list in a grid layout. So grid layout manager and the parameters are this and span count 3. So our grid layout will have 3 columns. Now we need to modify the grid layout because our progress bar will also be shown in a grid. But we don't want that. We want our progress bar to take the full width. So grid layout manager dot span size lookup overwrite function get span size. And here we get item view type with position from movie adapter. If view type equal equal movie adapter dot movie view type we return 1 else we return 3. Here we are returning 1 because movie view type will occupy 1 out of 3 spans and the network view type will occupy all 3 spans. Now let's set our recycler view. Layout manager is grid layout manager has fixed size is true and adapter is movie adapter. Now we observe movie page list in view model. Let's import this. And here if page list has any changes, we submit the page list to the movie adapter. Now we also need to observe the network state. If network state is loading, we set the visibility of the progress bar to visible else gone. And if network state is error, we set the visibility of the text view to visible else gone. And here if the page list is not empty, we pass the network state to movie adapter dot set network state function. Ok so let's run the app. So our movies are loading. If we scroll down, we can see the progress bar. Let's click on a movie and we can see the details. Now let's rotate the screen and it doesn't affect our app. Now let's turn off the Wi-Fi, scroll down and we can see the error message. Now let's go to this API link and we can see that the total page is 995. So let's change the first page to 994. Run the app again. Connection error. Let's turn on the Wi-Fi. Restart the app. Scroll down. And we can see you have reached the end. Alright that's the end of this tutorial series. If this was helpful don't forget to subscribe to watch more tutorials and leave a feedback in the comment section. Ok that's all for this video. See you guys in the next one.